Today, I'll solve one numerical problem on double pipe multifluid U-tube manometer. Here, double pipe multifluid U-tube manometer is connected with two pipeline. So, left hand side, that pipeline that content air. So, air is flowing and has pressure 370 kilopascal. And right hand side, uh, gasoline is flowing here. So, we have to calculate what will be the pressure at this gasoline pipe. So now left hand side due to the air pressure that manometric liquid water is pushed down and in other limb or other column that water is rise up and after that oil is there so again oil is pushed up and then oil in that other column so that is pushed down and after oil that mercury is there and above mercury that gasoline is there so we have to calculate what will be the pressure at this gasoline pipeline so calculate absolute pressure at the gasoline pipeline so we have to calculate that p gasoline gasoline absolute that we have to calculate now here first the pressure at any point so first we have to know that pressure pressure at any point P is equal to H rho G so that we have to remember and then another thing we have to remember so that P absolute is equal to P gauge plus P atm now the pressure at that that air pipeline so that is 3 kilopascal and we know that air density is very low so we can negligible uh, the pressure drop due to that height so now pressure at point 1 so that will be pg plus p18 so pg is gauge pressure plus a atmospheric pressure so that will give the absolute pressure so here pg is 37 uh, 370 kilopascal so 370 uh, again 000 and p atm is 101.325 pascal so that is 471.325 pascal so that is absolute pressure now from the two fluid interface i am drawing one horizontal line okay so at, at that two fluid interface uh, from here so we draw the horizontal line so pressure at the two fluid interface that is here that is p1 uh, equal to that p2 so whatever pressure will be p2 so that will be same because pressure at that same reference line same fluid will be same so we can write p1 is equal to p2 so p1 we already got so p2 will be again same thing 471325 pascal now if we so now we got that pressure at that point now we have to calculate the pressure at this point now we are going upward direction now we we have to remember that pressure will decrease in upward direction so whatever pressure is there so if we go upward direction pressure will decrease so that that point 3 the pressure will be something like that okay so here i am just erasing this content okay so pressure at point uh, 3 that will be p2 minus hw rho w into g so p2 minus hw means height of the water then rho w density of the water and g so 471325 minus 45 is centimeter so 45 by 100 so we are converting into meter into 1000 into 9.81 so that will give 466910.5 pascal so we got that pressure at that point 3 that is 466910.5 pascal now again we are drawing that uh, two fluid interface to another column so one liquid must be continuous so here the pressure at that that liquid interface the p3 will be equal to that interface means that horizontal line means pressure at the same fluid and same reference line will be same so here at p4 the pressure will be same p3 is equal to p4 so p4 pressure at point 4 that will be 466910.5 pascal 
now from here we got the pressure now we have to calculate here so when we will go down okay we will going down so pressure will increase pressure increases okay so now what will be the pressure at this point so if i take that is the point 5 so pressure will be that p4 plus h oil then rho oil into g so pressure p4 is 466915 then 50 that is the height is that is the 50 so 50 by 100 that is in meter then 0 0.79 is specific gravity into the reference uh, density 1000 into 9.8 so pressure will be p5 that is 470785.45 pascal now we got the pressure again we are drawing the horizontal line to other uh, limb so pressure will be same at the same reference line for the same fluid so pressure at 6 point will be same as p5 is equal to p6 so p6 the pressure will be 470785.45 pascal so now we got the pressure here now we again we are going upward direction so pressure uh, increase uh, sorry pressure decrease in upward direction so we are going to upward direction pressure will decrease so at p7 so p6 minus h rho g plus rho g h plus g so 470785.45 uh, minus 10 by 100 into 13.6 into 1000 into 9.8 so that will give 457.443.85 pascal now again we are going so we know that pressure at this point that is 457.44.85 pascal now if i go again uh, if, if we are going upward direction so pressure again will decrease so that will be p8 so p8 pressure will be uh, that is this because of this height so p7 plus hg rho g into g so p7 we know that 457443 then minus okay this is minus not plus okay so because pressure will decrease so minus 22 point divided by 100 into 700 plus into 9 uh, sorry into 9.81 so that will give 445 455933.11 pascal so that will be 455.93 kilopascal and here we got the pressure okay so that is uh, 445.93 now if i draw the horizontal line that pressure will be same at the same horizontal reference line so p8 will be p9 p8 will be p9 okay so we can say that pressure at p9 is 455.93 kilopascal now pressure at the gasoline pipeline so that is 455.933.11 pascal that is absolute pressure so absolute pressure we know that p gauge pressure of the gasoline plus atmospheric pressure now if we want to calculate the gauge pressure at this p pipeline so pressure at gasoline pipeline p gauge gasoline that will be uh, absolute minus p atm so 455.933.11 minus 101325 so that will give 354608.11 pascal so that is nothing but 354.6 kilopascal so now we got the pressure at gasoline pipeline that is 354.6 kilopascal that's it thank you